What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we will be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's legendary or specifically Pokemon Scarlet's legendary Coridon and why this thing will be a competitive beast. Now I will preface this by saying that officially released at least as of the time of recording we do not know Coridon's typing or its ability. However, because of leaks, we do. So this will be covering leaked content. If that's not your thing, hop on out of here. Because again, we will be talking about Coridon's typing because it has been leaked. And his ability because it has been leaked. Alright, let's get into it. So, Coridon is a dragon and fighting type. And he has the ability Drought. And I'm not going to lie, this is hard to work with. Now, I'm going to get into why. So, the dragon fighting typing, it's a pretty good offensive typing i mean it's you know dragon hits hard fighting hits hard covers a lot of really common types like rock and steel the one thing is it does have a quad fairy weakness which isn't great it's also weak to of course ice dragon but it beats dragon too so that's kind of negated and it is weak to flying and psychic and again quad fairy weakness that's kind of a big deal here furthermore the drought ability it's it's a good ability it's not great for Coridon though, you know, because the thing about Coridon is it doesn't have any fire typing, so it, it doesn't take advantage of sun being out. Now, Groudon doesn't have the fire typing either, but the thing is, Drought takes care of uh, water types. It makes water types moves do half the damage they normally do, which is good for Groudon because Groudon is weak to water type moves. Coridon's not, so Drought is literally just not really important on him but it's okay it's something we can work with and it's certainly something that could be really good in double battles especially if Groudon and Kyogre are never brought in this gen because of course the dex cut is a thing whether we like it or not Coridon's drought could be a nice little thing to kind of set up a sun team in the VGC corner if it needs to kind of fill a slot that Groudon is uh, leaving empty now Another thing too is, again, Coridon does have a good uh, typing on an offensive standpoint. So it's also a legendary, so it's going to have great stats. So that is fine. Now this thing, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a physical attacker. I think it'll be a physical attacker. Miraidon will be a special attacker. I mean, just look at this thing, those claws and everything, and plus the fighting typing. Usually that points to it being a physical attacker. Not always, but usually. So Dragon Claw easy option there dragon dance if it can get it would be really really good sometimes they don't like to give it to things that can kind of take too good of an advantage over it like garchomp still hasn't gotten it but if coridon can get it then well dragon dance again is certainly an option now then we also have the uh potential for scale shot that's something that you might want to consider running fighting moves you have the option for close combat which obviously hits very hard maybe this thing will even get mock punch and a kind of priority move but i think it'll be a fast mon so that isn't going to be as big of a deal but because of the drought ability i feel like they're going to want to give coridon something to take advantage of this right like it, it just seems weird to me that they would give it drought with no advantages to it so i could see coridon very well picking up some uh, fighting type or fire type excuse me moves uh, things like flare blitz things like flame charge uh obviously some things like flamethrower and all but that won't really matter because again we're going to assume here that coridon is a physical attacker also for what it's worth coridon is a and again we're getting into some more leaked territory here but a paradox version of of Cyclozar. Now Cyclozar was marketed with this whole thing it can do called Shedtail. Shedtail sets up a sub using Cyclozar's HP and then allows Cyclozar to switch out giving uh, another Pokemon the substitute. Because it's Cyclozar's signature move or at least was debuted along Cyclozar and Coridon and Miraidon are paradoxes of Cyclozar, I wouldn't be surprised if they get access to this move too. So, on that note, Coridon will have the option for Shed Tail. So, a, a lot of different uh, options for it in its move pool. Now, 
another thing too is that we know that the terrestrial gimmick actually works to give it like a third stab so if you were to terra coridon into say an electric type coridon will get electric stab but it actually even though it's turned into an electric type still keeps its dragon stab and its fighting stab so it might behoove you to run a fire type terra coridon the reason this is being that now coridon has the stab fire type moves and now it can take advantage of that with the drought ability maybe that's the whole reason it gave it it and worst case scenario you can give coridon terra blast which has 80 base power which is very good because you know that's a solid move that could become fire type if you tear it into the fire type and again finally find something to take advantage of that drought ability now it, the thing again to watch out for is going to be fairy types on this thing so if this thing can get iron head you're probably going to want to slap iron head on it that or poison jab a lot of fighting types get poison jab so that's certainly an option here it probably will get iron tail i don't know that i'd run that because 75 accuracy i'm sorry maybe i just have terrible luck but 75 accuracy to me is essentially 10 accuracy that has been my luck with it but definitely uh going to want to put iron head on it if you get the option now obviously it only has four move slots so you won't be able to put all these moves up on it but i'm just showing that this thing is going to have a lot of different things it can do right another thing too with the fighting typing on that note is that it'll likely get access to a lot of uh punching moves that aren't necessarily a fighting type move right sucker punch that gives it priority so that's good but then also access to things like ice punch fire punch thunder punch again fire punch would allow it to take advantage of that drought ability and uh the nice thing about sucker punch is that it's going to take care of one of its weaknesses in the psychic typing so priority you'd be able to smack the psychic type before it smacks you and depending on how high coridon stats are and especially if you've dragon danced up or even sword stance if it can get that you're going to take out the psychic in one hit and not even have to worry about it which is very very nice again its other weaknesses are flying type which of course thunder punch or ice punch would also be able to take care of also just because of this thing's build i could very likely see it getting rock slide or stone edge so that is also an option in that regard and rock slide and stone edge would also take care of the uh, ice weakness as well that it has but so with its fighting moves so you don't really need to worry about that much ultimately the set i would run assuming it can get dragon dance is dragon dance just because there is like never been a situation where dragon dance isn't good on something uh then i would also run dragon claw or i would even assume it gets some kind of signature move that's a physical dragon type move which would be really nice so you're going to want to run that i would give it close combat and for that last slot honestly i would just give it iron head let it take care of the fairy typing let it take care of the uh ice typing um and i would just the drought thing just run it with mods that can take advantage of it because honestly i don't think there's much of a point of wasting coridon's terra on that when you could just tear it into a dragon type or a fighting typing and boost your own stab i would just do that instead of doing a terra fire type run and just have in the back things with chlorophyll or things that actually are fire types to take advantage of that sun again this thing's going to see because of that drought ability a lot more potential with vgc than it would in uh smogon battles or just wi-fi battles in general it, this thing's going to be much better on the vgc side of things so there you have it guys let me know what you think of this what you think of coridon uh, will it be on your team i guess by me asking that which version are you picking scarlet or violet uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We will, of course, be doing Mirai Dawn very, very soon, so you don't want to miss that, as well as just doing other Pokemon as well. Been doing this for a while now, and it's been a lot of fun. So, again, you don't want to miss those. Until next time, I will see all of you later.